Hello, Fredlings! This is Claude from Chicago, and we are back with another fantastic, beautiful live stream. We are live from Minecraft Spacecraft World, which is vanilla Minecraft... Vanilla Minecraft Survival. And today we are playing with Zach Daily Games once again. If you guys are new to the series, you can check out all of our Minecraft playlists linked in the description. This series is called Spacecraft. Recently, me and Zach have just obtained... Our Elytras, yes, we have obtained our Elytras. As you can see from the title, we are going to be going on to a special adventure today, looking for some cats. So I hope everyone's day has been going well. I can see AJ in chat. How is it going, big fellow? Let me just make sure that the stream's going all right on my end. Uh, later tonight, we are also going to be premiering a special video tonight. So be sure to check that out and uh, check out hashtag times because there is ways you can obtain coins if we reach two goals in 24 hours. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going to be doing some very epic things. I mean, I'm very happy that we got our Elytras, honestly, because Elytras are fantastic in my opinion. Uh, what we need to do is we need to find some fish. Not cooked fish. And we got gunpowder here, too. We got a good bit of gunpowder for without having a farm farm. Doing well here, Claude. How about you? Or how are you? I'm doing great, man. I woke up not that long ago, to be honest with you. I re-looked at my homework, and I'm doing... Like, I'm not doing any more because she said... It'll be noted. I'm not doing the rest. I don't know. I mean, there is a couple more that I could probably comment on for the original weeks, but I'm not going to do all that because I did, like, two of them already. I only need to do one more, so maybe I'll do that later. I don't know. It's only, like, like a quick comment. And then I got to do some more, like, work work. Other than that, I'm doing fantastic, which those other things aren't really too hard. It's just more of sitting there for a period of time doing stuff. Very cool. Very epic. Very cool. <laughs> Oh, hey, Claude. How's it going? It is going great, Zach. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Are you... Yeah, as soon as we get more pumpkins, we can get tons of emeralds with these things. And you know what we should probably also do while we're sitting here? I haven't done that on Fredcraft. Is we should make a sugarcane one on the opposite side of this. <laughs> or really? continue going down this way. So then we can have some sugarcane automatically growing. Because currently we don't have... We, I mean, we have a lot of sugar cane, but it's very, you know, sh strenuous picking it all up every so often. Uh, isn't it just, like, faster just to pick it up yourself? I mean, true. It is, but, um, I mean, it's a lot easier. Like, look at this is only, we've had this running for hours, and we only have nine pumpkins. It, I mean, what if we only get nine sugar cane? <laughs> it's it's only running while we're in this player chunk area. So, like, even if the no, server's on, it doesn't. That's what run. I'm saying, though. Like, if we did that with uh, if we did that with sugar cane, it would only run while we're down here. True. Yeah, I know. I know. I was just suggestion, suggestion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're you're the Minecraft expert. I mean, I'm, I'm on board, man. <laughs> I'm we're not Don't making. Me. We're not making it. <laughs> We're not making a zero tick uh, farm before everyone starts asking to do that. That will lag our entire life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, don't, don't, Claude, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's, yeah, no, I understand. It's, it was just like, you know, when we're down here waiting, it'll at least be going. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Because I don't know, the only reason why, let's go out to the front. Let's see if any grew. Because I jumped on like five minutes before and I just sat here just to see if it would load. I don't know if we're close enough to the water for those chunks to be loaded in. That's the one thing. I'm not entirely sure. But I mean, I guess in theory. Oh, AJ made a suggestion last week. I don't know if I told you. Yeah, I don't think we're close enough to the water for them to be loaded in. Um, AJ suggested if we do a creeper farm, we should do it inside of a like a space hangar over here. Like, uh, if we make, like, a one of those rocket hangers, yeah. we can build the creeper farm in there. and Or build a creeper farm and then design the the building around that. Yeah, we're too yeah, far from idea. that, from this, from rendering in. But we'll go get some sugar cane somewhere else while we're on the hunt for some cats. 
Which were gritty um, cats do, <laughs> Yeah, should we give sh for the for the fine uh, gentle gentlemen and gentle women in chat? Should we uh, do a quick recap of of the last stream because we got a very very important item in the last stream? I don't know if you remember. We got we got <laughs> yes. So last, if you guys missed the last Wednesday or or le the last stream, uh, we went uh, end rating, and as you can see, our Armor is four down from usual, and the reason for that is because we just got ourselves a, an Elytro. Uh, we also got a Mending Book, and we both have Mending on our Elytras. So now we can fly wherever we want forever, <laughs> as long as we yeah, have ex rockets. Except, yeah, except I have 11 rockets. How many do you have? I have 10. Yeah, we don't have too many rockets. Yeah, so we need <laughs> to get some. Problem. We need to get some sugar cane. We also put mending on it, so there should be no reason for it to break. Um, we might want to run over to our zombie farm and do a little XP before we go for this cat adventure, just in yeah, case. Yeah, maybe we should do that. I, I we should do that. I got unbreaking three on my uh, Elytra because I had an extra spare book, um, from the. Uh, I don't remember where I got the book from. I got the book from um. Oh, from the end, like, uh, strongholds. So I just put it on my thing. So what we need to get you, Zach, we need to get you a book of Unbreaking 3. And then your Elytra will last three times as long. So that's what we got to That gotta sounds get. good. But we, that sounds good. We'll do that a little bit later because I don't think realistically we need it now. So just be careful. Be You just got to be a little bit of a pro and make sure you just check your Elytra and see if it's going lower. Yeah. I might just take it off because it's kind. Of, I find it kind of annoying as I'm just walking around. It's, I'm doing this like floating thing. Yeah, that could you be annoying. Don't mind, you don't mind? Oh, don't mind that? no! It helps you go a little bit faster. It goes. I as you see, I like to run everywhere. <laughs> yeah, My, it's just an instinct with Minecraft. Eventually, you'll get so good with it, which I'm not there yet. But you could eventually start uh, elytra hopping, is what it's called. I don't know how it exactly works, but you're trying to like hop while in the like double tap the space bar, and you can like yeah. propel yourself up without using a rocket. Like it's not huge, but it's still more than current. All right, I made some more rockets from the paper that we got. I got 27, so let's split that in half. Um, here's 13 because you had 11, and now you should have 24, correct? All right, so now we're equal. So we need to go get some fish. Um, we might not actually need to... Um, we might not actually need to... Uh, go we to the... my fishing rod? Yeah, grab your fishing, ro fishing rod. Yeah, grab your fishing rod. Uh, you may want to put that Elytra on your body while we're fishing because the XP will go through your fishing rod and in into your Elytra. I'll explain the whole mending thing here in a couple minutes. Um, you should also grab all the raw fish you have. Nothing cooked. If you have any. I only, There wasn't that much, so I just grabbed what I found. I don't think I have any. Okay. And then you could you could put your armor back on. <coughs> armor back on when we're done. Just because... Um, okay. Uh, what's up, Caden? What's up, Crypsa? Um, Because with mending, how it works is... It's a lot more advanced the more you have mending on everything. But mending will repair your pickaxes or armor or anything that you have mending on through XP. Now, for example, it will mending the XP orbs when they jewel your body. I don't really know how you would want to say that. When you obtain XP orbs, they will yeah. check your armor. If there's no arm if there's no armor with mending on, it'll check your tools that are in your hand. They have you have to be wearing them or you have to be holding them in your hand. So they'll yeah. check. If you have no mending materials, you instantly get the XP orbs. If you don't have mending, or if you do have mending, it'll check them and they'll give you the XP. Um, for example, if you have all armor a hundred percent healed up, and it checks and it says it's healed up, it'll give you the XP. But you want to repair your pickaxe, so you might want to take off your your armor because it's already full i don't know if that makes any sense let me try to rethink that real quick uh, i'm just slaughtering these fish here just because it's a little bit easier than actually fishing <laughs> <laughs> hand fishing is what i call it. okay so if you if you're wearing something with mending zach okay 
and you are having a hundred percent healed, it will then uh give you the XP orbs. So the mending instantly checks everything. So for example, if you have one thing with mending all the way full up, and then everything else has mending on it, but it's a hurt. There's a chance that you'll get XP orbs instead of it going to your armor. So it's not guaranteed it will go to your armor. To make sure you have it guaranteedly go to your armor is to only wear the mending item. Or only have um, the mending uh, tool in your hand. Yeah. If that makes any sense. <laughs> but right I, now... I kind of make, it kind of makes sense. I'm not sure I completely understand it. But I, I think I'll, maybe I'll... I'll get it when we work on it. Yeah. So when we're when you're XP grinding, just take off your fully repaired mended tools or armor out of your hand or your body, and then you'll be fine. That's all you gotta really worry about. <laughs> we're nowhere near that yet. We only have the Elytra. <laughs> so if you check your Elytra, it should slowly start be it should slowly start going up. Uh it should slowly start going up because you're keep getting XP and we're only wearing or only mending item. Yeah, one sec. One sec. Okay, I'm going to go out and do... All right, for sure. Uh, Caden says, Purr meow. <laughs> Call the building the AJ Morningstar Rocket. Laboratories hangar. Well, I'll see what we could do with the creeper sound effect. I only put that temporarily because I didn't know how long it was going to actually be working for. I'm going to be changing the sound effects hopefully uh, later. I'm not entirely sure when. I want to try to change them this weekend, though. All right, I'm back. Uh, you want to sleep? Sure. Oh, shoot. I left my bed in the house. Yeah, <laughs> same. All right, oh, I have goodness. I have 14 salmon and one... Um, one uh what's it called one uh um, regular fish yeah one regular fish yeah i have two regular fish three salmon and a puffer fish okay yeah we don't need the puffer fish but you can keep the puffer fish inside of a chest i'm pretty sure puffer fishes uh give us unbreathing or un uh, puffer fish give us like longer you can breathe underwater some some sort of potion we can make out of that so keep that one yeah. Um, we're gonna try to get ourselves up to at least like twenty in total fish, because I don't know how many cats you want to get, but uh, cats can be very picky. <laughs> uh, well, we haven't actually talked about what we're doing in today's stream. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, do you want to explain the cats thing? Because I'm that's another thing I'm not exactly sure about. All I know is we're doing something with cats. Um. Uh, you know, I've seen cats on my on my personal solo Minecraft server. I get quite frankly. They're a mystery to me. I can't figure out anything about them. <laughs> but you have some idea about what to do with cats and what we're going to do today with them. So cats can spawn in two... Okay, yeah, we're getting cats. Cats can spawn in two locations. Um, before, you had to get them in jungle biomes. And that used to be such a fun adventure, going looking for a jungle and then getting a cat. Um, now, cats don't play like those rules. You, can, you cannot obtain ocelots. They're like foxes. Useless. Um... And and what we got to do is we really got to go find... Cats will spawn in villages, and cats will spawn in... Cats will spawn in villages, and they will spawn in swamps. They will spawn in only swamps with a witch hut, and only one will ever spawn. So, uh, if, you want a, if you want the uh, bad luck cat, uh, we can go to a swamp, which is a black cat with the golden eyes. Very cute, by the way. And it's a bad luck cat. Well, I it's like real life. That's why they put the, it in the witch, because you know the witch does all the sorcery stuff. Yeah. And you know how like a black cat is like bad luck because like if they cross yeah. your path, that's why they put her in. Put the, you can only get black cats from a witch hut. And it's for, it's honestly pretty cool because <laughs> you can flex on your friends. Because cats in yeah. water are notoriously uh, hard to move. Minecraft cats don't care about water, but. Long story short, that's where we can get that. And then, then another one, you can get whatever 
you can get any kind of cat at the uh, at the uh, at a village. Uh, a village defines as a certain amount of villagers in a certain radius. I think that is four or three. No, it's three. It might be four. But long story short, we don't have enough villagers over here to make a village because they keep spawning in our um, our our lava pit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't exactly remember what's going on over there, but I didn't see any cats. We could check there first, and if we can find some there, that'd be grateful. If not, we're going to have to go on a little adventure to go find some. So why <clears throat> why are we getting the cats again? I mean, I, obviously they're cute and everything. I mean, I'm, I'm very excited, but why? Because they're cute. <laughs> I mean, we – I mean – well, we don't have a dog, right? I mean, we could yeah. I guess in theory we can go get a dog as well if we get lucky, but we need cats for a creeper farm because the way that I saw it be done, not saying it's the only way to be done because there's other ways you could do it. Uh cats can um help us move creepers quite quickly cuz cats are or creepers are scared of cats. Oh, nice. Yeah, I heard something about that. Like creepers and cats are are mortal mortal enemies or something. Yeah, I don't know why. At least they made a use for the cats, so the cats will scare away creepers. So we can always park cats like outside of our base or inside of our base, and then they can go away. Also, cats are very cute. I mean, like that's really the huge thing. <laughs> that's really the reason why we're going. My leechers all mended up, and I have um. 16 17 18 19 i have 19 fishes i think you have like what five or six or yeah. more so when you're done fishing this one let's go uh back let's tidy up our inventory and then we'll go uh look for some cats so how the how the creeper farm works in mine at least it's because it's broken of course um there would not be any minecraft game without a glitch uh, involved uh, we're going to put creepers inside of a certain, or I mean cats in a certain side of areas, uh, in inside of a certain area, and creepers will spawn in that area, only creepers, and when the creepers spawn, they'll see the cat, they'll get scared, they'll fall down, and they'll die, and then we'll pick up their nice, beautiful gunpowder, and then we'll uh, continue. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> yeah, no, that's awesome. So just keep your um, fish on you. You don't need your fishing rod. I don't. I mean, you probably should keep it on you. I'm gonna keep it on me actually. Uh, you yeah, need your so bed, my, your tools, um, and we're good. Yeah. My, you know, my Elytra is still pretty damaged. Yeah. You want to go run to the XP farm real quick? Yeah. Can we? Mm -hmm. That's fine. All right. Let's let's go. And I also don't have an axe. Where's my axe? What's up, Mateo? What's up, PVP? All right, I have one here. Claude, you can also use a fishing pole to hook a, cre a creeper, then pull them towards you, PvP says. Y yes, you can also do that. I would not recommend doing that, though. <sighs> All right, let's go. Oh, I'm going to bring some gun... Oh, if if we see any creepers, we gotta kill them on the way. And if we okay. find any sugar cane, we'll take that with us as well. Just because it's always good to get just as much gunpowder as possible. Now it's very valuable. Before I was just like yeah. saving it I... as we went, but now they're like needed. Yeah, I still have this looting sword on. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, if you kill a creeper, you might you can have a chance of three gunpowder dropping at one time. Yeah, Zappy's asking me in chat, are you guys going to make the gunpowder farm? Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what we're doing, right? We're making the gunpowder. I mean, not not this stream, but like we're working. That's why we need the cats. Yeah, that's what, what we Claude need. We need said. we need at least two cats, and then we can have infinite. Minecraft is always notorious. If you get two, you have enough for the rest of your entire life. If As long as you know how to do stuff. Because <laughs> some yeah. people get distracted and... I, I, I know you... Okay. I gotta say it, sorry. If you guys are playing Minecraft and you're starving at the beginning of your world, like when you first load in, you can find so much food around the map, but you need to make sure you save two cows, two pigs, two everything, like Noah's Ark, because... 
In Minecraft Java, animals will not respawn. Alright, take a look at your Elytra before you go in there. Okay. Alright, how- what color are you on? Uh, green. It's- it's like... 50%? It's not the bright green, it's- yeah, it's like 50%. Okay, go down there and then whack these guys. And then, when you're done whacking them, take a look and see where it is at again. Alright, now check your Elytra. Ah, it's full. Okay, yeah. So that's, you just gotta always make sure that that is as green as possible. Now, for example, if we're in the world, and you, we, you know, we can't get to our XP farm, just whack some, like, random cows, whack some zombies, whack some skeletons, those other guys, oh. and they'll get you some more XP. That was so fast, that's a little broken. <laughs> yeah, it's like we were there for two seconds and it's all full again. Yeah, <laughs> it's very, um, uh, it's very awesome, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so like that's in theory the same thing you would do with your, um, your, uh, your armor as well and your uh, tools when we get more mending. You just gotta always make sure that. When you have it, like, full like that, for example, let's say that's full and you need to still do your armor, take your Elytra off and then do your armor. And when, when that's full, take that off and then it'll, like, focus just on that single thing because if not, it'll just start giving you the, the levels. Now, for example, yeah. if you need levels, just take off all your mending stuff. Yeah, okay. I, like, I'm getting it now. Like, I think I understand. That's that's crazy. That's cra This is, like, the first time I'm using mending, so it's... uh. We need to get mending on everything, Claude. Yes, think? that's <laughs> when I heard that technique in Fred's craft because I didn't even know what mending was. It was the exact same experience you just had. <laughs> really? <laughs> like that's all we need is we just need mending books on our armor, and then our tools, and then we're good. I mean, honestly, you really need mending on your pickaxe and your shovel first because you're going to use those the most. You feel like you're going to yeah. use your armor. I mean, you need them on your leecher too, um, but you need those on because your sword you. This the diamond sword has fifteen hundred and sixty one wax, and if you have them breaking on it, you're probably never gonna break it. <laughs> yeah. But then when it gets low, then you put a mending book on it. It's like more of like which is high valued. Uh, I'm gonna read a couple of chats real quick, and then um, okay. we're gonna look for some cats. All right, awesome. Uh, they are at the village. You need fish. Yes. Uh, go to the village. Yes, sir. No, you didn't sleep. Claude, you can use a fishing pole. Did did you teach Zach how to use fireworks? Yeah, I showed Zach how to use fireworks um, e on Wednesday night. So he knows how to use an Elytra, and he knows how to park them. LOL 2 is the key to life. Yes. As you, I mean, I haven't done it that much on Fredcraft. But, I mean, if I was really more multi-managing my stuff, I would probably have, like, just a huge... Like, you know how my cow farm is? I would probably have, like, a million in there if I had a chance to. But, of course, now you could just buy all the books you need. Buy all the leather you need. Mending on a hoe? I always use mending on my diamond hoe. You can enchant one. You can't get on a hoe? Loyalty? Question... <laughs> Well, I, Claude, and I do this, like, morning stream, which is awesome. Yes. Which uh, what's is, up, Claude? Hey, what's up? Um, we're just talking about times and stuff. Yeah, they were talking about enchantments. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. But before, before we go on this cat adventure, I feel like we should take a second and talk about tonight. Because there's a special, special thing happening tonight. Um, a, a special premiere. Yeah, we uh we are gonna be both premiering uh we're both gonna be premiering um two videos tonight at eight, uh, Central Standard Time and seven seven fifteen se Mountain Standard Time. Um, you can also just check our premieres. Um, and this is kind of in commemoration of the the final the final episode that happened last week. We're doing these shows. Only for this weekend, only for tonight. We're preparing, premiering them back to back, and uh, it's just gonna be awesome. It's just, it's just a good time doing stuff like this. Yes. So it's gonna be just like a news station. 
There's going to be, like, <laughs> instead of having commercials in between both, you got to go, like, just, like, a water <laughs> and then come back. <laughs> yeah. My video is not terribly long. I know Zach's is a little bit longer. Wait, how long is yours? Mine's, like, 314, 315. Yeah, mine's mine's only like uh, twelve minutes or so. Okay, so like pretty much it's just gonna be like when mine's over, go to Zach's and then then Zach's will play. It's pretty much like that. So it's gonna be awesome. Uh, this Wait, is the so first you, time you, I'm are you, doing. Are you, are, you, mm -hmm. are you actually done? Are you actually done editing it? No, there's a couple. Uh, I mean, I would thought I was, but there's still a couple more things <laughs> I need to go three that I need to fix, and then there's. Yeah. A couple things I want to edit a little differently, so I I will well, premiere time, it. Ta yeah, ta times a times a accountant here, Claude. I mean, it's it's supposed to premiere tonight. <laughs> I it'll be it'll be out at uh eight o'clock, so you'll see the premiere post time when it's done done. Um, yeah. there's a uh, there's a lot of people like in television and uh, especially for like cartoons and stuff like that because. South Park, I don't know if you saw that video, like, where South Park, like, they worked so many, like, crazy number of hours, and, like, they find, like, they barely get it to the, the station to post it. I mean, yeah. that's like me. <laughs> You're editing it to the last possible second. <laughs> that's what, that's, deadlines are awesome. Deadlines are awesome. I like it when people, I mean, honestly, it's a lot better when people set deadlines for me. Because then you, yeah. then you have to get it done. But whenever I try to set my own deadline, stuff gets pushed back, like, farther than they probably should yeah so i've tried it's i always try to write deadlines on like everything as times that's why i try to get all my homework done by friday so then i don't have to do it like saturday sunday there's so, there's some things i might want to do with my homework today but i mean i still got to do like my work work so i still got to do that later too so it is a lot of stuff to do yeah, and just to just to recount to the because I know everybody asks this like why why if it's so emotional why are you guys even stopping the arc? Oh yeah, and and I just to bring it up again because we've explained this before, but um, basically there's just so much stuff that Claude and I want to do that we just can't do everything. You know, like there's so much that Claude and I want to do in this series and the Minecraft series, and there's so much we want to do with Fortnite. Like we can't, we just can't do everything. We can't do Fortnite and Minecraft and Arc and everything. So something had to to go, and so we're we're saying now to the Arc stream. Mm -hmm. It's sad. I mean, because like getting the clips and stuff is just like you know how much it's like how much we grew. Yeah, and, but you know what? Like I'm yeah. I'm I think of, of like at the send off for this like we're really taking the time to like honor it i feel like it was such a great series at least for yeah, from my perspective it was like a great series to experience and share with everybody um so i think we're doing a really good job of just like closing down the series and like saying goodbye and having a good send. like i that last last week I played so many hours of ARC. I don't know if you you remember, but I like two hour stream, three hour stream, stream. Like I played so much ARC that people are probably tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you played a lot last week because you needed to finish your house, which turned out fant. The Aztec oh, Temple. You. Yeah, I'm super proud of it. Yeah, it's it's sad, but yeah, like Zach was saying, we need we gotta switch stuff. I was uh, which we needed like. Oh, I mean, I need to, like, focus on more games because I was, like, playing, like, everything. <laughs> and there was hard to yeah. get into any sort of groove. And by the time you came back, nothing. It was, like, running through water. Nothing. Yeah. Um. All right. Treading. Well, and I was... I. Yeah? I, and I'm actually, like, I'm going back and watching the highlight videos I made. Um. So I made those 10 highlight videos and I'm watching them again. And it's, uh, they're, they're good. Like, I'm really enjoying them. I, for, I forgot. I forgot. Like, it's so cool to look. Now that it's done, it's cool to look back and see when we tamed certain creatures and when certain creatures. Because I forgot all of that. Uh, but it's just, it. yeah, it's 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 good to watch them again. That's true. I mean, it's, it's like so, there's so much stuff that happened. Because I put everything in a playlist. And I don't know how many episodes there was. There was a lot, though. There was, like, over, like, 30 or 40 episodes um yeah it's gonna be sad my video may be a little cringe but 
that sh- it is what it is. What are you talking? Our stuff it's is the fir- our stuff is never cringe, Claude. It's yeah. never cringe. This is the first time I'm doing this sort of style, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. We're looking for a cat in this village. I doubt that there is one because all the villagers are too spread apart. Um, but if we see one, we'll be good. If not, we're just gonna continue going somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. Everybody, keep your eye out for a cat. Because if Claude and I miss it, we need you guys to, like, scream at us. <laughs> yeah. We may or may not it. find one over here. They'll be very quiet, by the way. The cats will? Yeah, they're, they're, the villagers are kind of spread apart, and there's no beds. Like, the only place they could spawn is by that thing, but by the time they spawned, they would have just fell in the lava and died. So let's just keep going, Zach. We're going to go for a little adventure here. You don't uh, think they're here? No. We're let's type in the chords before I go too far. Two two eight four. Alright. Just yeah, in case I don't we get see lost. Any. Yeah, so we just gotta go find ourselves another village. Now, do you wanna fly and try to find a village or do you want to um just walk a little bit? Uh let's just walk a little bit. Yeah, there's I'm something still over a little here. bit I'm a little scared of um losing you and then Ending up in the middle of nowhere and not knowing where I am. Yeah, there's a little one right that. over here. I think, yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, I feel that, though. <laughs> and I get it. I think there can only be one per village. So you have yeah, to be uh, careful. Well, in, in my bedrock village, there's, like, tons of them. Hopefully there is tons of them. <laughs> Anywhere, that's the thing. I forgot what was I what was I playing? I was playing some slim cats just kept spawning. I don't remember what that was though. Oh, that was bedrock, yeah. Because I was playing on my friend's world, which sadly is no longer a thing because they all got burnt out of it. That's why. <laughs> and um Wait, they got burnt out of Minecraft? Well, yeah, they were playing fourteen hours a day for two weeks. <laughs> Gosh, there's so many villagers. They are here. very this is amazing. They are very grindy people but they get burnt out of oh. stuff quite quickly i don't know how they don't get burnt out of D D. they play two or three times a week for 10 hours i don't understand how they're not burnt out of that game but beats me this is a massive village clot i we should trap all these villagers i mean my goodness yeah if we wait for a night time we'll just put some blocks in front of the door or we could do it right now well they'll go inside while it's uh they'll go inside while it's sleep while it's nighttime. Oh, but we could ring the bell thing. Oh, true. Ring the bell. I don't see any cats, though. It's kind of... Unfortunate, yeah. Bad. I'm going to grab some <laughs> blocks. When will we play Fortnite? Well, thanks for coming out to the stream, man. We play Fortnite every Tuesday. Every Tuesday here on this channel. Me and Zach at Zach Data uh, Games. Actually, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because I was going to I was gonna ask you a question, Claude, um, about Fortnite. Are you ever going to consider doing a Pod from Chicago solo Fortnite stream? I was planning on doing that just to see if I can get a victory royale before you. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, I'm telling you, like, I would be so... If you did a solo stream, I would be so excited. I would watch... I, I would watch the whole thing. I would just... That would be so incredible. To see you solo stream Fortnite. I would love to solo stream Fortnite. They, um, I really hope that there's a, there, one day I will, one day I will. I don't know exactly yeah, when. Yeah, can you, can you do it just, just once? Just Bruh. like, please, please. I've been, <laughs> like, I, it would be yeah. so cool. I have, you don't have to do it any more than that. Just once. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely will do it one day. I'm just not sure when exactly because, um, I want to, uh. I want to practice my drops and practice my solo. Uh, get, I'm blocking these villagers inside this house, by the way. Oh, um, okay. All right. The, uh, I just don't know how bad I'm going to lag. Because sometimes, like, my ping's up at, like, 200, and then sometimes it'll jump to 500 in a game, which is really bad, because the max is 900 for yeah. the worst. 999, nine, nine, and then it just stops counting. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm not sure exactly when, yeah, but I will eventually do one, and uh, 
Hopefully, I can get a victory royale. I also want to play arena. Arena solo. Because you get siphon. What's, a, what's arena? Uh, so, arena is like how Fortnite used to be, and everyone hated it at a time. Including me, by the way. I'm not going to even lie. Uh, I, I Then I fell in love with it. So, arena is every time you get a kill, you get shield. You get shield or health, whatever oh. you need. And you get mats. So... Uh, you know how in Fortnite you can kill some guy and he'll burn all his mats like I do just so no one else gets yeah. him? Yeah. In Arena, no matter what, if you kill the guy, you'll get mats. Nice. And it's it's fa it's fantastic. So you can get a whole bunch of materials and stuff. But it does cap your materials at 1,500. And uh, you get shield per kill. Um, but it is very competitive. It's, it's the competitive game mode. So you have yeah. to be on your thing. And it's like skilled matchmaking – but it's only people that want to play competitively. So it's like skilled matchmaking times two. <laughs> yeah. So it's only people that want to sweat. And then you have to sweat. And then the more games you win, the more you sweat. And then the game, like the final circle is, you know how in regular solos, the the first circle when it closes, the first circle when it closes, um, there's always like 25 people left. With every solo game ever, there's 25 people left in a regular solos match. But if you're playing arena... The final circle before it starts moving, there's usually on average of like thirty to fifty people. What? And before, is a final circle before it starts moving because in this in current they brought the old circles back, which is stupid, by the way. I mean, I understand why they brought it back because some people can't rotate, but yeah. This so in regular souls now the circle will just keeps shrinking until it's gone, but in competitive the circle will move into the zone and then you have to move with the circle and it's shrinking at the same time so it's like something that wasn't in a circle now it is the circle and now you gotta move that way with it or you'll die it's very competitive i want to do that yeah. one day i want to also try to do that before i play too many solo arena games because it's going to get very hard <laughs> <laughs> so i would write to say uh, i gotta win before it got too competitive we're gonna keep going this way because there's no okay. cats in here i blocked all these villagers in by the way so we don't have to worry. Nice. Um, can you play? Uh, we play Fortnite with subs every Tuesday. Yeah. If I played a solo game, it would be solos only. Sorry, Zach, and everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> hey, no, but that's really that's really yeah. exciting. I'm super excited about that. I I can't wait. Yeah, I been, I literally can't wait. I've been practicing my drop to a couple a couple locations. I, of course, I'm not going to tell you guys these locations because I don't want anybody to steal my my spot. Is it, is it sweaty sands? Is it sweaty sands? The there's a um no I I I um with when we played competitive, me and uh, my partner Daniel, we would land uh the same spot every single game, every match every time and the reason for it was is there was great rotation there was a bunch of chests and no one went there um everyone went to if on original map everyone went to little mexico or uh playblow huts or whatever you wanted to call them uh, which was a great location but the problem is when you get like 15 people dropping there every game there's not that much loot there so yeah, everyone would die um yeah. So we would just land at a spot where not a lot of people went and get all the loot and then have rotation. So it's yeah. – it's, with the competitive games, with the competitive arenas, you get placement points and you get uh, you get points by surviving and by getting kills. So you can drop in the first game and get a bunch of kills, which are like all valued at one, or you can make it the top 25 and get five points. And then top 10, you can get 15 points. So it's more it's more focused about winning the game than getting kills. Because everyone can go out there and sweat and get a million kills, but then it only takes one guy to ruin your day. Yeah. It's more about getting the win. That's what it's trying to push in arenas is winning, not uh, killing. Which, of course, you yeah. still need to do. But And you still get rewarded. It's not like you're not getting rewarded. So if you wanted to go sweat out and get like a million kills, you can. But you're not working on your end game strat because you could i mean exactly it's like um 
You know how you were in the uh, circle and that guy, you tried to say you were box fighting and then the one guy shot you outside of the circle? Yeah. yeah. It's That's like the arenas. Like, you got to, like, move in with that. Like, of course, you were trying to. It's like that, but a little different. And then there's, like, Storm Surge, too. If there's too many people in the circle, you start taking damage even if you're not inside of the... Even if you're inside of the circle, because there's uh, they want there's too many people on the map and they need it to not lag, it makes it very competitive. You have to like play to your strong suits. I don't know. I'll explain that more on when we play Fortnite. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite Pringles flavor, Zach? Simon asks. Uh, I hate Pringles. <laughs> Do you like Pringles? I I really don't like them. <laughs> I I like I do actually like Pringles. I don't I li I mean honestly I could eat Pringles all day. I really don't care what flavor they are. What? <laughs> I I do like Pringles. I do like Pringles. I like the um. Some of them are kind of nasty if you eat more than like four of them. Like for example, there's a pizza flavor one which you're like so yeah. hyped because you think it's gonna be tasting so good. Yeah. And then you eat like four of them and it's like wow this is a <laughs> I don't know. I like I like Pringles. I love Pringles. Um, we're gonna just try to stay on the outside and see if we can find a village. We may we gotta f see if we can find a swamp or a village. So keep your eyes out for both. What's up, Lo? Thanks for coming out to stream. Jesty, hey. Jesty um, says he'll never I... play Fortnite. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, that's how some people feel. Yeah. That's how some people feel. Um, can I, can I, can I change the conversation to something a little bit more serious? Um, because I wanted to ask you a, uh, a little bit about this, this whole coronavirus crisis that we're dealing with. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we're still both in states with heavy quarantines. Both uh, Chicago and New Mexico are dealing with uh, quarantine, uh, pretty rigorous quarantine issues. And I was just wondering, like, from your perspective, how long, how much longer do you think this is going to go? Uh, uh, the governor of Illinois said he was planning on opening bars and restaurants to minimum capacity by the end of the beginning of june if that's going to happen i don't know uh i feel like this is probably going to go on for some time but especially states that are hmm, it's going to go on for some time for some certain states I will just say that for some states, it'll be restrictions are going to be way more lax and some states are just going to be more strict. Um, for my state, we're probably going to be inside for a, a quite some period of time. Same thing with California and New York. I mean, New York's been letting people out too, but the big cities I think are going to be kind of stuck inside. And I think that's going to affect the whole state because but, Chicago's but the third biggest state, the third biggest country or uh, Chicago is the third biggest city in the U S so we're going to be in here for some time. Yeah. But how, how, how long is for some time? Are we talking six months? Are we talking a year? Like what, what does that mean? The university of Notre Dame in Indiana, uh, just announced, uh, something along the lines of letting students come back to school until Thanksgiving. And then they were going to, uh, finish the semester at Thanksgiving, which by the way, um, all universities should already do. Um, but, um, they, uh, they believe the university of Notre Dame believes, uh, the second wave of coronavirus is going to happen in November and we're probably going to redo this entire situation over again. So, yeah. So I yeah, think I... we're going to get a bunch of restrictions, um, laxed and then like, we're going to get a bunch of restrictions laxed by like October, the news is going to say a million people are dying a minute and then we're all going to go back inside. Yeah. yeah I kind of, I kind of feel the same way a little bit. I mean, I feel like, I feel like this is really going to be a lot. I, I, I mean, it, things aren't going to change until they have a, a vaccine. I don't think. Yeah. We're so, not going inside. And, and we're not going to have yeah. a, we're not going to have a vaccine for six to 12 months. Correct. I, I think, although, um, 
I, I, I find the whole vaccine thing confusing because it's not like we really have a, a flu vaccine that that works all that great. Oh, you know? so like, yeah, I don't. Uh, if we if we can't have a hundred percent flu vaccine, how are we going to come up with a, a coronavirus vaccine in six months? But you know, th I know there's a lot of companies working on it. So I think if we can get a vaccine in place, it'll it'll probably help. But we're still looking at least six to twelve months out. That we're gonna, there's gonna be some impact of this, this quarantines and everything continuing. That's a long time. Yeah, there's um, I saw I saw some pictures um, which people kept saying this was Japan, Japan, Japan. I, I mean, I don't know how to read Japanese or Chinese, but can we not like assume which country it is just by looking at a picture because. Uh, people okay so long story short in china there are there's kids that are already back in school uh with sh highly uh you know like levels so they could still learn in school like you know protection levels for them um people yeah. kept saying online it was japan 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 or korea but if you look at their symbols you can clearly see that it's chinese symbols not japanese i mean there's a little difference i mean you probably wouldn't know unless you're like comparing them together I mean, this is the guy that talks about Japan like every three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So they have uh, they have all the kids uh have like little protective barriers between each seat. Um, they're all six feet apart. Um, they all bring their lunch to school, which Chinese kids already have done. I they don't have really a big uh welfare system where they you know giving everyone food. Um. I mean, there's a lot of schools. In, I mean, the United States is really, like, one of the only, like, school. I mean, countries that give people, like, free food. And the same thing with um, Europe as well. I mean, some of the more eastern countries don't do that. I mean, they're more, you know, traditional. I don't know. I don't know what you would say. Okay, long story short about that. But they don't want people to have cross-contamination points. So <clears throat> we're looking at that picture. Most likely we'll have probably school back in August for kids. Um, there will be, like, plastic or some sort of barriers to protect each kid. All of them have to wear masks. All the kids would have to bring food to school. Um, so there's, like, no touch points. And then, like, all home, all work would be turned in digitally. So everyone would get, like, an iPad or something. Or a la laptop mm -hmm. or a Samsung or something like that. So, like, even in class work would be turned in digitally. You still have to be there, though. Yeah. Uh, there's still a ton of people who play, who still, wait, there's still a ton of people who still aren't taking it serious and are furthering preparation of the problem or the problem. Dang, you have some big words. <laughs> Jesty. Yeah. I mean, I think we're going to be inside for some time. I, I mean, my opinion doesn't matter because I'm not a, a doctor, so I have absolutely no idea how this works, but. I think we'll probably – I mean, Chicago, New York, California are going to be inside at least until – a government buildings at least will be inside for um, – at least until there's a vaccine. I don't think we're leaving. Um, yeah, more, I think right. more less populated states probably will have lax laws. Um, it's very hard for a farmer to work inside. I know a lot of people were saying like – the states that have less restric restrictions have more coronavirus, like deaths. But most of those states are like, for lack of a better term, are flyover states. Because like you can't, like a farmer can't like not cook food. If the farmers can't go to work, we're all gonna starve to death. So yeah, <laughs> we like, we the, need the, to have them the go the to farmer, work. The, the farmer can't harvest his crop digitally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, where'd you go? Where'd you I, go? I went inside of this temple to um. Oh, let me drop down. To grab some of this loot. Ow! Ow! Oh, thank God I removed that. You almost stepped on the landmine. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I got. We're let's kind of loot in here. We got some garbage loot. We got some emeralds though. Sorry, I very. I always like come in here expecting to find diamonds, so that's probably why. I also don't have any torches. All right, I'll build another way up, so you may have to build yourself up. Do oh, you, shoot. Do you need blocks? Uh, uh, I have 15 dirt, should be enough. I threw some down for you, just in case. 
Um, <clears throat> Claude, it's me, Wick. Oh, for sure. What's up, big fellow? It's going to be yeah, the... I... Yeah. Continue. No, go ahead. What were you saying? I was just reading some of their comments, and they're saying, uh, just these saying it's not going to be over until people start taking it seriously, which is probably true. Are you talking about Eastern countries? I'm talking about Eastern countries, like, as in left of, right of Europe. Sorry, right of Europe. They play, their, their whole logic of things are way different than us. Their culture is way different than us, like Japanese, the Chinese, the Koreans. They're way different. Like, they're, we always try to compare ourselves to, um, to those countries, but they're, they don't, like, they do stuff differently than us. Yeah. Like, they, they take care of their, their family members. That's why there's such a high, uh survival rate for elderly in like japan and china because they uh, think about um you know taking care of their family members until they're old and dying they don't go into nursing homes they stay together they don't like they're very connected us in america yeah. it's like i gotta go <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's a it's, a it's a it's a little different so it's it's hard we can't really western cultures can't really compare themselves to to the eastern cultures of uh asia uh it's just i mean that's just how they grew up and that's how their culture is ours are more independent especially the united states everyone's independent no one relies on anybody <laughs> yeah that is kind of that is kind of the american way yeah and yeah let me just let me just say now for the record uh, uh if if i get old you people in chat better not put me in a nursing home <laughs> somebody better let zach live with them <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah but that's what the i mean they're 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 different i think they'll probably be able to, there's a much higher survival rate in those countries because they're taking care of them if you're like sitting at home with the coronavirus and you're old and it's very contagious for you but if you have family members around you, you're going to force yourself to stay alive longer. Just like people survive longer when they have a wife and kids or they have an animal at home compared to yeah. single people with nothing. I mean, you don't have any, like, cats, do you? <laughs> no. Or, like, dogs? I mean, I, like, no, I got when, you, when there's, like, dependence on a person, they they stay alive longer. So I did not mean to, like, say that to, like, scare you. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I know, I know the whole story I, with Japan and the, the – yeah, Japan has the longest life expectancy in the world. The yeah. longest. Yeah. I didn't mean to, like, scare you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no spamming in chat. I'm not scared, chat. Claude. I'm not <laughs> scared. Um, uh, uh, Dr. Brown is saying in chat, Zach is single still. He should be married by now <laughs> since he's 40. Uh, I'm 39. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Zach yeah, no, said no, no, in a I, video I, not too long ago that he uh, he was talking about. I don't remember which video it was, but you, you said you wanted to be uh, or maybe it was your stream. You wanted to be single because that because you don't want to have to go through all those uh, crazy uh like legal binding stuff well yeah so i i'm not a big fan of marriage in general just because of the legal aspect of marriage i mean marriage is a legal contract and you have to be when you when you marry somebody you have to really understand what the legal contract is that you're signing so i have a big problem with that but uh, this is getting very personal <laughs> i didn't expect to go down this yeah, i'm sorry hole Zach. i'm stream. sorry i'm sorry but no but but let me just say let me just say the that's not the big driver for me. The big driver for me is I think it's important that you have some patience and you wait for the right person to come along. You know, and that's if, a fact. If you don't if you don't feel like the person that you're dating or whatever is the right person, absolutely 100% the right person, don't marry them. That's a fact. That's that's the thing. I I think if you want a happy life, you got to have patience and not marry the wrong person. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I yeah, I'm not married. I am a little I am almost 40, but I am 100% okay with that because my philosophy is if you're going to get married to somebody, you need to wait until you find someone who you feel is the right person. Well, that's a fact. It's it's um <clears throat> there's very limited people. I mean, sorry guys to get you all uh sad <clears throat> but there's very limited people that i know that are uh what you could say high school sweethearts right that actually got married yeah. and stayed together for a long time my supervisor yeah. she did that 
and they're going well. And my high school teacher did that, and they're going well. Um, but not that's not everyone. Most of the time, yeah. you're just going to go separate ways. I mean, you don't really well, know what people are in high school. I mean, you're not even knowing. I mean, me looking back, you don't know sh- shoot. <laughs> yeah. Well, in high and, school. you know, and, and I, I mean, obviously it, you, uh, you know, a lot of younger viewers don't probably don't have a lot of married friends, but I have a lot of married and what you start to realize, to be honest, Simon, people who are married are incredibly unhappy. Yes. Like, there's a lot of unhappy married people and like to be happily married is very much the exception. And it's, it affects so everything in your life. And you don't, you don't want to be one of those unhappy married people, (laughs) but like, that's the, that's the majority of people. The majority of people are, are pretty unhappy. Yeah. And and, the United States marriages, it's like 51% divorce rate. I think it, I think, I mean, that's like flipping a coin. That's not a good (laughs) option. I, I, and like, I mean, people financially stay together, uh, for some reasons as well uh you know <clears throat> like i mean so i mean so i just i mean well we're i'm coming from a city folk so i mean <laughs> it's a little different i mean it, people in the city are a lot more independent than people are on a farm i mean on a farm you need a big family you need like seven kids you need a wife or a, a husband and you need to like make sure that the cows are all fed every day all every day of the year you need to make sure the yeah. crops are growing. You need to make sure in the winter you're do- – like there's a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. I mean that – I mean if that's the life you're going down, I mean you 100% too. Yeah, we need farmers. We If we did not have farmers right now, none of us would be YouTube. None of us would be doing uh, accounting. No one would be doing video production. We would be all in the fields working right now if we did not have uh, a sustainable food. So it's always good to thank a farmer. Uh, food, animal, or anything, because if they were not here, we would not be here. Especially Europe. Sorry, guys, y'all don't have that much food. We, pr- United States, is the number one <laughs> exporter of crops and animal products in the world, and they feed a lot yeah. of the countries. Yeah. Zappy said, "I thought this was <laughs> Minecraft and not marriage advice." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Whoa. but long. Yeah, sorry, not to get down that road, but I mean, you can't be independent. Well, well, when you're married, you have to like be. You have to be dependent, and you have to be independent at the same time. I mean, you have to like take that into account. You know, are yeah. you okay with somebody going into your bank accounts? Are you okay for paying for all your child's stuff? Are you okay risking your risking? I mean, it's not. It shouldn't be a risk. But are you okay with letting your child go over to your friend's house? Are you okay if your child gets hurt? You know, I mean, you shouldn't be okay. But, I mean, you know, you got to take – now you got to stress all about that. Yeah. You know, not once you have a child, you have to stress about that, like, every second of your life. I mean, I don't have any connections with that because I only have, like – but, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm assuming parents could probably agree. You now have to stress, like, you have to make sure that your daughter is safe. You have to make sure your son's safe. You got to make sure that they're not doing stupid stuff. You don't – you got to stress yeah, all I lost you, Claude. Oh, there you are. You're over there. We're looking for a, I mean, we're getting very unfortunate here with the uh Yeah, we're not having good villages or um we're looking for so right now we're looking for a witch hut. If we can get at least one cat that'd be nice. Cuz there can only be one that spawns in here, so that's why we're going through the swamp. By the way, don't even think about taking the cat back yet cuz that's going to be a whole another endeavor. <laughs> Uh, can we fly it back? Uh, no. We have to walk it all the way back or walk oh, it to it. Obnoxious. It's going to be. Uh, you know, I have a feeling. I have a feeling we're going to find all the cats all at once. Like, we'll just find them all together. Yeah, we're going to take a right here or a left. Yeah, I hope we do. If we find. We just need two of them. And then we could start bringing them. I mean, it's not going to be too hard to bring them back because cats will teleport. and So they can teleport to us. But we have to, like, go slow so they can teleport. Because if you go too fast, then they will sit down and then we'll lose them. Because I've lost a lot of cats moving. AJ says, best advice ever. (laughs) Uh, Farmers in quarantine are farmers are playing Farmer Simulator 2019. (laughs) 
We make cheese every day, Lucas says. Oh, nice. Yeah, Lucas lives in Holland. I don't know. Are you a farmer, Lucas? I don't know. I never asked. <laughs> yeah, so so back to this coronavirus stuff we were talking about, though, is we got a little sidetracked. I, oh, yeah, you know, of course. Even, even though, <laughs> even though I, I do think that this is going to go on for a long time, I try to look at the positives because I do think what the hell is semi liquid cheese of things out of this in that it's forcing it's at least in America it's really forcing America to rethink a lot of really really important things like <gasps> gravel biome whole, is this is this a gravel biome yeah, sorry oh screenshot 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 screenshot, screenshot. quick quick quick, quick. <laughs> sit down we need to know where this is because we for the spaceport we need a lot of concrete stuff okay so this is I like, took a picture I took a couple pictures an, this is an unbelievable find. And it's not this too is an far unbelievable either. Find. It's yeah. only eight it's no, only sixteen hundred away. Crazy Claude. This is this is so fantastic. This is the whole stream was worth just this. <laughs> That's a fact. Unbelievable. This is so crazy. I'm sorry for cutting you off, but I was like I I saw a bunch of gravel and I was like, we got very fortunate here. Yeah, no, this is uh, incredible. This is incredible. So I'm sorry. Uh, Where were you at? Yeah, Kid no, I, I was saying I, I do think we have to recognize the good things that are coming out of this, which is that, uh, you know, it's forcing companies to rethink how they do business. And especially all this work from home stuff is, I mean, I think ultimately it's going to be really good for business. It's going to make, you know, working from home is going to become more of a normal thing. Um, and, uh, uh yeah, I, I, it's making it's making people embrace digital technologies more. The whole idea of like you can do business via uh, video conference calls instead of having to fly across the country for a meeting. All of this stuff is radical innovations that we knew about in business, but never took advantage of because people were just so used to doing. Things. Well, now you can't do things the old way anymore. This is like forcing people to come into the new century and a lot of new technology which is going to be good for increasing productivity for a lot of these businesses. I, I really love, I mean, from the, when you're saying, I mean, it's, it's great to be working from home. I'm not going to lie. There's like a lot of stuff that like, we have to do these daily meetings on um, zoom like Monday through Thursday, which by the way, thank yeah. goodness he pushed them back. Cause we originally were getting on like eight 30 to do these things every day. But now we're starting at 10. It's like yeah. I would have to drive 30 to 45 minutes out the way and then back just for a two-hour meeting. Like that's a waste of time. Um, yeah. Now especially – I mean now honestly I would just probably have – I mean of I would just probably have digital calls all the time because yeah. of the convenience well, of it. I mean – you yeah, could just all I mean, sit at your desk and then Zach could say, hey, I need those numbers now. And the guy could be typing them as Zach's talking. I mean, like, no, you're saving so much is, time. <laughs> yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about. Just the example of you right there. You just got two hours of time, two hours of time for every one of these meetings that that I, that you're getting because of the change in the way we're doing business now. And it just multiply that across the whole country. People are going to get more time, and time is really valuable. Yeah. I I cannot wait to see. I mean, now that it's getting more socially accepted, it's – I mean, we're going to – it's going to be – it's going to be great, honestly. Because now everyone's going to be like, okay, I know how to use Zoom. Like, it's forcing people to know how to use Zoom or – uh, other things. I mean, well, it forced Discord to even alone now let video calls be free. Before they wanted you to pay, like, it wasn't that much. But now it's, like, yeah. free. I mean, Discord's going to probably be, I mean, of course, we're the exclusive OG Discord people. So, fist bump. Well, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what's going to happen is that companies will be forced to do business this way because if companies don't start doing business this way, they're going to be forced out of business because it's so much cheaper and so much more productive to do business from home and video conferencing and all this kind of stuff. And if there, if there are companies that are going to try and go back to the old way of doing things and like, you know, there's a lot of uh, older managers who, who have this philosophy of, well, I have to be able to reach out and touch everybody in my workforce. 
uh, you're going to be forced out of business because all your competition is going to switch to the new way of doing things and they're going to be able to do their business uh, more productively and make more money than you. And you'll be you'll be pushed out of business if you if you don't switch. Yeah, my uncle, he's an accountant as well, and I don't know what rank he was, but I know he was like probably as high as you, Zach. But he would fly across the country like three to four to five times a month to like Green Bay, New York, and L.A. for his company. Or not like his company, the company he worked for. And I was like, like, that's cool because they did pay for it. But I mean, once again, now he probably won't ever need to do that again because yeah, it'll save the company money. One, instead of paying uh, the tickets, two, it'll be cheaper to just pay them at home. I mean, it, the greatest thing is like you can like get into the gr- rhythm. I mean, like that's what we do on our Zoom meetings. He'll pull up Avid and he'll say because now we have to use Avid, <gasps> so Avid's not going anywhere. Video production people. Um, you could just jump into the water. Um, but it's like, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, you could just like, like we're sitting there and we're editing while he's telling us stuff or he's like, type this up. And like at the end of the meeting, it'll be, I mean, I guess you could do that in person too, but just, you can do it now, 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 now. Everyone's asking why Zach's so scared. <laughs> but why am I scared? They said something like that a couple minutes ago. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And then they're talking about politics in there. Uh, Oof. Well, we don't want to talk about that. Uh, hey, bees. Look at this bees. guy. Bees. We got enough bees, though. We yeah, already, we got we enough bees. bees, yeah. Oh, there's a swamp over this way. Oh, nice. Yeah, I feel like I feel like other, you know, uh, other big changes are coming, too. Like, life is not going to go, life is not going to go back to the way it was in, like, a lot of different ways. Which I, which I also think is good. I think like it's it's good to to keep moving forward and and doing things better and more productive. And I think I think I mentioned this this to you before. I think that movie theaters are done for. Oh, let me get down to, to that theaters. whole. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, movie theaters are probably. Di- I mean, movie theaters have been dying for quite a long time. <clears throat> and I have a very strong bias for liking movie theaters because of the actual larger than life picture form. You've yeah. you've heard me talk about this what yesterday or the day before on my stream for like an hour. Yeah. And I'll briefly wrap it up. M- films and movies are supposed to be shown larger than life. They're supposed to be larger than life. Um from 2001 Space Odyssey watching it in my home to watching it in the movie theater, it's a whole different experience, Zach. The yeah. close-ups of Hal's face, that three shot, I think the I think a lot of people that know f- film history, there's three shot of when he's lip lip syncing. Um, and then it goes cut in, cut in, cut in the close-up of Hal's eye or the red circle. Yeah. Just that alone, like it's just a different thing. Like Hal's eye on the screen is like 30 feet by 30 feet. It's huge. I mean, it's it makes stuff really more scary. The shining in the movie theater with the sound. But um, it's illegal, by the way, for companies to produce, distribute, and exhibition films. I don't know if you know about this, Zach. You probably do. The Paramount Agreement, which included all eight movie studios. One has went out of business, RKO. Um they they had an agreement in like 1940 something saying that not one company cannot do all three aspects and now with film studios saying you can now have us disney creates the films distributes the films and then shows them on their own website that is illegal <laughs> zach so i don't know if legally they can go away unless the law changes but I don't know if you well, know too much about the Paramount a, Agreement. It's a gray area. It's a gray area. Because they shouldn't be able to – because that's a monopoly. Well, 
So, uh, rea- let me tell you the reality of the situation. Oh, yeah, well, I'm not going. I'm not going out the way. I'm not going out the way to sue anybody. I mean, <laughs> the um. So, uh, this was about 15 years ago. 15 years ago, this was back when I was still in Hollywood. When I was still working in Hollywood, there was a massive, massive writer strike. All the writers went on strike. It was the longest writer strike in the history of writer strikes. And the fight was oh, the fight of this writer strike was over um, writers' um, ability to get royalties from digital videos like YouTube. So if Disney put uh, so if Disney made a movie, and uh, normally they you'd have to pay a certain a certain percentage in royalties to the writers. Well, they would pay their royalties according to the writers guild agreements yeah um and then they would put the movie on youtube and not pay anything to the writers because they would say well digital rights are not included in the our uh writers yeah. guild agreements yeah. from 50 years ago yeah so so therefore we don't have to follow any rules when it comes to digital assets and online presence so that was the big fight 15 years ago, and they came to like some compromise with the Writers Guild or whatever that wasn't very good for the writers and pretty good for the studios. But like, what what's happening in the world still today is that these these whole digital platforms are so new that weren't contemplated when yeah. laws were written, however many decades ago. That, and the studios are just taking advantage of that still. The studios are saying, like, it doesn't apply. Uh, we don't have to follow any rules when it comes to digital assets. Yeah, that's what I'm I, – they're going to have to redo something because I – it's just – I don't know. I find that very – I mean, it finds I, – it's. I mean, it's weird. I, I don't know. It's weird. It's very convenient, but it's weird because I don't want there to be, you know – a more monopolies. Yeah, well here's here's the problem though. So, okay, so the 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 monopoly thing is is a very important point, but the problem is we live in a brand new world today. So the problem is we have the you know, it's not just the United States, the world. All of these large companies are now global companies. And so for the US to try to regulate a global com- uh, company is very tough. Especially when the U.S. is trying to compete against countries like China that have no monopoly restrictions. So let's look at two digital companies today. You got Facebook and you got TikTok. All right. So if the United States says, you know what, Facebook, you have Instagram, have all of these digital assets. You are you have Facebook. You are too much of a monopoly. Facebook, we're going to we're going to split you up because you're violating antitrust laws. Meanwhile, China is consolidating with TikTok. And so we if we if we as a country crack down on monopolies for the US, we're going to lose the global battle, because China doesn't have to follow by those same rules. And so we, you know, I don't know what the solution to this is, because I, I agree, monopolies are horrible for just refresh your stats and change it going to compete against their global superpowers that aren't breaking up their companies like they we won't be able to compete against math these massive monopolies coming out of china that's true that's true i mean there i mean it's getting hard for media to be regulated i mean it's weird because it's Everything seems to be, I mean, these, cl- 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 these tech, I mean, I know it's like everyone's owned by everyone now. I mean, it was kind of like that, but like now it's everything. So Disney owns, Disney owns ABC news. They own Fox sports. They don't own Fox news. They own Fox sports. They own ESPN. They own all the Disney studios, obviously. They own Lucas Films. They own a whole bunch of other stuff too. Marvel. So superheroes are dominated by Marvel, except for DC. But it's like they have this huge like, like they own like that they say is cool, and that's what gets put out. 
I mean, that's you need to have like, like independence where like people can say what they want, do what they want. Yeah. And then until Disney buys your company, then you don't really care because you now you're rich. <laughs> yeah. Because there's like there's always a law, like there's always like laws and laws and laws and laws and laws. AJ says there's only like six media outlets. I changed it. Yeah, apparently it said I was playing Planet Coaster when I wasn't. Um, laughs in Slovakia. There's only four media outlets and multiple newspapers. Except DC is making good movies. Simon says. Well, I think you know. I think this True. will. In the, True, Simon. I, I think we're still struggling with. Um, just figuring out new technology. I think we're still in this phase. There's been so much new technology so quickly. Social media, this is changing so quickly that we're just grappling with dealing with it as a society. And I think we'll work all of this out as long as we continue to have independent content creators making content, which is happening at a incredible, incredible pace. So I'm not too worried. It's not like it's not like independent voices are being silenced. Uh, silenced, yeah. I mean, they are they are in a, in a way, but it's not. It, it's still you know, independent creators are still getting their stuff out there, like us. Like we're independent creators, we're out there doing our own thing. We would not have been able to do this without uh, Google and YouTube's 15, help. <laughs> yeah, 15, 15 years ago, we would not have been able to do what we're doing today. So, like, we are. Um, we're independent creators and there's more people like us. And as long as there's independent creators out there working, putting their voice out there, we are. Well, we found another gravel the mountain. Media. I'm taking a picture again. Okay, continue. <laughs> we the we media. We are the, the media of the future. Claude and I are the media of the future. So as long as we keep going and forging ahead, like we are part of the solution. And we are the ones who will be defining how the media landscape looks in the future. As long as we keep going. Mm -hmm. I think we're, it's so, um, nowadays it's everything so, uh, specialized. We like, if you want to come to us, we play video games and we sometimes talk about events and then <laughs> some people just focus on just, you know, politics. Some people just focus on food. Some people just focus on how mechanic videos and like how that, cause I watched a video last night. Cause I don't know if you remember Zach. But back in the day, um, do you remember Expert Village? No, what is that? Oh, Expert Village used to be the go-to YouTube channel for um, for uh, how-to videos. That was the only thing. And then Easy How, uh, then Easy How um, took over. And then now everyone's like how to how to videos. Expert Village used to be where you would go to this YouTube channel and experts would quote unquote show you how to do something. Uh, yeah. The experts' reliability were they actually experts is a whole debate another for another time. Uh, but they were like you know if you needed to fix a tire they'd show you how to do that you know that sort of stuff. Um, eventually, the owner of the company sold it for twenty million dollars. Because he saw in the future that uh, – he saw that uh, Expert Village wasn't going to be needed because there's so many other people doing, like you were saying, the future of making their own videos. And it got so competitive that putting 12 videos out a day would not let them stay on top anymore. So they gave it up. They sold it. And then somebody else, Easy How, took it over. And then Easy How stopped doing stuff for the channel so now it's a dead channel no one uh has posted on it but it used to be the big site where everyone would do some like do everything uh i brought us back to our house because we gotta go check somewhere else because right now i we have been There's unfortunate no... for a, quite a long time i think we it's this way very unfortunate wait, wait wait let me before we go back let me gather this wheat and make some bread because i'm running low on food yeah let me Read some comments real quick. Uh, we're, our yeah, house I'm gonna go is, sleep. Yeah, let's take a... Our house is behind you where oh, my nice. bed is. So I'll be walking that way. I changed it, Lucas. Thanks, man, for letting me know. Um, except DC makes good movies. You And if you don't like laws, don't... <laughs> future. 
because they can profit <clears throat> because a lot of tension we would would recommend it though make the streams more interesting like how do you mean you can get very intensely debated with claude oh checkmate washington lol farmers uh yes back in my day yeah i mean it's it's crazy how time changed i mean like i'm not telling you guys to think a certain way i'm just saying my my opinion from a media person just you know the laws that were in place i mean they just need to be rechecked So do you think, we, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, Are you scared uh, for the future or no? Um, Lucas is not a I farmer, by the way. <laughs> am I scared for the future? Um, That's what some people are asking. Am I scared for my future? No, just for the future or... of humanity, I guess. If with everyone being so connected. Uh, that's such a strange question. Am I am I... It, I guess the question is, do I think the future is going to be better than the past? I think Correct. that's the kind of the common question is like are are things are things in the world heading down instead of heading up? And I would say, in my personal opinion, absolutely not. I, I'm, I'm very optimistic. And, and I think part of it is because I work in a very cutting edge industry. And the things that are on the horizon are so incredible. The technologies that are coming up are just so game changing that I don't think that people really realize what's around the corner for a lot of people. Um, I mean, we're, we're going to have very soon, we're going to have, in a very short period of time, astronauts being sent into space who are just normal people like you and me. It's going to become a tourist thing to go into space. And so people are going to, you know, young people being born today are going to grow up in a world where being an astronaut is a normal thing. That's a complete game changer. And it's like there's so many things like that that are happening right now. I'm very optimistic about the future of the planet, the future of humanity, because I just think technology is moving so fast that we'll be able to – all these hurdles that we're facing, we're going to be able to conquer. Um, so, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of change is happening. A lot of it's very scary. But, uh, you know, in general, if people are asking, do I think the future looks bright? I think the future looks very bright for everybody around the world. Now it might be it might be a little painful at times getting there, but um overall I continue to be optimistic. Good answer. <clears throat> yeah, I think I think we'll all be fine at the end of that day. After this whole thing we'll figure out well, once this coronavirus has definitely put in place which is um new laws and new things that have not been done. Um, there was a very deadly flu that was around during um, the Vietnam War um, that killed a lot of people, but uh, we didn't do any social distancing for that, and life went on as normal. Like, they had the whole Woodstock thing still. Yeah. Um, I think this virus here alone will have, like I was saying, I think before, uh, I don't know if I said it on stream or not, but there was... There's some guy right now in their garage right now inventing some new thing that will change our lives forever. Something, some sort of protective gear, some sort of thing so no one can get any sort of thing. You know, somebody's doing something like that right now. And we're not going to find out for maybe a couple months or years. But there will eventually be something that will improve all of our lives. So if there is another pandemic like this, we'll be all protected and we'll be all fine. Yeah. I now, by the if, way, if, uh, if the... I call all copyright and patent pending on a dome, like an astronaut helmet thing that you could put on your head. I claim all rights to that right now. Okay. <laughs> I want. I want. How a would one, this work? I want a one percent royalty. How would this work? 
putting a dome on your head? So what I have in mind is I want a one percent royalty. By the way, uh, how would it would okay. work is um, you would put a like you know like those fish dome like like those fish bowl things on your head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and have a filter on the back that would filter air in and out, and it would just be attached to your head, and it would be no more than five pounds. Uh, because I know, of course, technology can't, you know, make everything thin. But then you could be inside of a dome, so you couldn't breathe it in at all. So it would just be your own air. So like a gas mask, but a glass mask. Patent. I patent it. Somebody get the patent office on the line right now. <gasps> cat! Cat, 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 cat. Wait, you found one? Okay. You found one? Oh, thank God we at least found a cat today. Before Oh, there's two of them. There's we a white cat it? and a yellow cat. Okay, keep your eye on the yellow cat. Keep your eye on the yellow cat because okay, the white cat's going to be Okay, okay, okay. so how you have to do this is what you need to do is you need to hold the fish in your left hand or your right hand. It doesn't matter. You have to put it in your right hand, actually. And what you need to do, Zach, is you're, you're not doing it right. Um, You need to – you need to hold shift. You need to hold shift, and you need to look exactly into the cat's eyes. All right, you need to so, – so what you need to do is you need to look at the cat, hold shift, and walk very slowly to it. The cat should stop, look into your eyes, and then walk to it. You have to keep eye contact with the cat. If you do not keep eye contact with the cat, he will run away or she. I just lost it. Okay, good thing I gave you the uh... – Okay, I got the white cat. Thank God. All right. That was easy. Oh, that no, was here. way more it. easy I than it. I thought it was going to be. All right. So okay. what you need to do. He's on me. He's on me. Okay. So you have to hold shift and you look at the cat's eyes and don't move. Because once you start moving, you're going to scare the cat. And he's oh, there's gonna another cat. There's another cat right next to me. All right. I'm going to go try to get the other one then. So hold shift. He should. And look in him. his eye. Okay. Got you got him. him? You fed him I the fish? Him. Yeah, he got hearts. Oh, thank goodness. Let's go get the other cat, too. Where's she hey, at? There's another one right Oh, feed it, feed it, feed it, feed it. Turn, turn, turn around and feed it. No, no, he's, he's looking at no, you. He's, he's looking at away. you. He's behind you. No, no, no. There's one behind oh. you. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. I got him. I got him. No, there's, there's so many one. cats. There's another one. Get, 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 so get, get this one. cat. This one. Is that two more? Get yes. Them all. Get them all. Get the cats. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> oh my goodness, Zach. You're like, there's no, there's one over there. It's like, there's one looking at you. <laughs> oh. This is so cool. Oh, goodness. <sighs> oh my gosh. This is awesome. So will they just sit here? Uh, You got to right click on them to make them stand up. And then he'll they'll follow you. <laughs> so you just gotta right don't hold the fish in your hand while you're right clicking on them and then they'll they'll follow you so i don't know if they're following you right now but my cat my cats can only be tamed by you or my cats can only be moved by you so let's go back over to your cats i think they're over here wait this one's running away uh, that Did one's you get both of them yeah okay awesome. so oh so this is is this yours no this one's mine i don't no, know those are yours all right, where's where'd you park your gentleman? Okay, Mine's over so here. right click which right click with them with not not a rocket in your hand either. Okay. <laughs> so just right click. I mean, you could do it with a sword or or any. It just just right clicking. Jesse says, "Oh okay. well." All right. Okay, so we got four cats. I'm gonna go try to get the other one. So now they'll follow you around. They should teleport to you. Um. We're not too far from our regular base, which is fantastic. There's still one yeah, more is, golden cat over here. This turned out this turned out incredible. I mean, it's taken us a while to get to this point, but this is like the best the best outcome we could have hoped for. <gasps> yes. Did, I I was not like you I mean Zach said it quote earlier. Uh we're going to find a whole bunch of cats at one time. I've never seen this many cats together <laughs> at all, honestly. In my in in Java at least, I've never seen this many. We have five cats now. We have yeah, three yeah, yellows. I have I have, or, I have watched you played Fredcraft for a while now. I have never seen you be this lucky before. <laughs> I'm just going to have Zach play Fredcraft with me now because this is 
this is too this is too lucky <laughs> oh i have to go back and find my bed i think i left it somewhere oh well we're going back that way anyways so we don't really need to sleep right now there's a village we can just sleep in that so you yeah. what you just got to do is when the cats are going to follow you and they're going to teleport if you get too far away when you're going over water you really got to make sure the cats are behind you because cats will not teleport on water same thing with dogs so you just got to uh make sure that they're still following you um there is a there's an ice there is an ice biome um close to us the ice shards i don't know what they're exactly called somebody that plays minecraft could tell me there it is north from here but there is like a little uh area for that uh, i'm trying to find a bed all right i found a bed all right just make sure you break it when you're uh done why do you guys need cats? Well, we need cats for a gunpowder farm, but is uh, we like cats, so. Oh, these are awesome. I, they just follow me around. It's so cool. Oh, this is awesome. Wait, so we have... <laughs> uh, I don't have I mean, any the, bones they... on us, but we could probably try to get a dog... Um... If you had some bones, Wait, oh. you're getting distracted. We're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna bring get these yeah. guys home. <laughs> so we just gotta go this way. We didn't go over any water. We went this way. This is fantastic. So we just got. I think we went came from this way because we need to get back to zero zero zero. I think we can get them through the Nether portal, um, to bring them back home. Uh, let's not try. We're it. gonna a try do it. one at a time or um walk we can walk back there too yeah let's just walk back i don't want a chance <laughs> yeah go i'm just gonna take make sure that i know the coordinates to get back to the uh to the place shoot he didn't give me any more bones this is very this would be nice if a cat would follow you in real life by the way <laughs> yeah. cats in real life do their own thing cats uh we, so our one cat likes to like try to leave the house and he's tried to run away sometimes like not in direct like he like leaves he just feels there's like a big dog next to us like our neighbors yeah and the cat will go up to the fence and he'll like roll over because he thinks they're friends or something so when the dog's not outside he'll try to cl he'll climb the fence and try to get over and the dog hasn't or the dog hasn't been in there when our cat has gone in there but yeah. the dog would probably kill him honestly he i think my cat doesn't understand that this dog uh, will probably uh kill him <laughs> not indirectly the dog is very really friendly he, he the dog likes to look at the cats and wants to be friends with them but the dog doesn't know exactly hey you know we don't like you can't just bite a cat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, we got our cat a leash. And we put my dad put down like a so there's like a little metal pole in the ground, like a little mini one. And then we, we hook the cat leash up to the cat. So it's like a harness so he can't leave because he'll like he'll try to go far. Like he will just try to leave. And it, it's crazy. So now the cat is like chained in the yard. Like he has a he's like a like. He has like a, like he can walk around, you know, on the rope. Yeah. But he, uh, so he, just so he doesn't leave. <laughs> so it's like putting a dog on a leash and then like putting it on a pole so he wouldn't leave. Obviously, dogs are very you know trustworthy and they won't like run away. <sighs> Cats are like, nah, I'm gonna do what I want. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that's what we have with our cat. So you you could not do this in real life with the cats. They would just uh, I'm just gonna stay here at this village. I like this place. <laughs> Sorry, our home is not the village, my dude. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're right back to our um to our place. You always just gotta make sure that and you turn around and you look and see if the cats are coming. If you go over water, cats will teleport to the nearest block and then be put on sitting mode. So they'll automatically put them on city mode sometimes. So just always make sure that they're not sitting. Or if they're yeah. sitting, they won't teleport. If they're yeah. not sitting, they will. 
All right, here we are. Beautiful. Um, we still have about 25 minutes. I think we can get definitely get back to the desert. I'm going to go into the portal real quick. I'm going to sit the cats down. And uh, I'm going to bring one yellow cat with me, actually, just to see if this works. All wait, right. why, wait, why are you going through the portal? Uh, I'm going to go through the portal to see exactly where our coordinates are so I don't get lost. Oh, I see. I'm going to bring we'll, one yellow you know cat. The coordinates will go. We'll yeah. Walk back. Got it. I'm bringing one yellow I cat just the sacrifice just in case if he just in case no. if because we have a bunch of yellow cats. All right. He doesn't want to yeah. come. This is like a real cat. Come on. I don't think the cat will tell through teleport through the portal. Okay. Let me put him down. Let me just sit him down. Sit, 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 sit. That's yours. All right. All right. I'll be right back. Let me just see where okay. we're going. We're at one, we're at 50, we're at negative 50, positive 50, roughly. And we need to go to... And we need to go to... We need to go to this number. 1789180. So we only need to go 1700 blocks, roughly. Oh, that's so close. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming back right now. So, uh... Something else I want to ask you. There's something going on on my Discord server right now. I don't know. I don't know if you saw um, this week. I had a stream where I created a flag from my Minecraft world, and there's a huge controversy over this flag. Some people love it, including me, and then some people hate it. It's very. It's polarized my community, and um, I don't know. Did you see the flag, Bud? What do you think? I th you have a bet on you, by the way. Yeah. Okay. I uh, I think your flag is fine, but you should not call it a painting. Whatever that painting was, I'm sorry, Zach. Artistic taste or not? <laughs> I don't know what that those that 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 painting was. <laughs> the one with the stripes. Yeah, I said I, I said I I literally said jokingly. You know, there's people that paint just a red circle and say that's art. And then you come yeah. back with a painting that is a red box with some lines. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, did he just really do this to me? Did he just print this out? That painting is worth <laughs> millions of dollars. Millions. I mean, this isn't just me saying it's an incredible painting, which it is. It is an incredible painting. It's people who are paying millions of dollars for these paintings i mean it, it, that's a fact claude that's a fact that's artistic taste right there <laughs> i um <gasps> all right let's go this way zach um Wait, where's my black cat where's my black cat what? he was right here he might teleport to you did you click him i can't control your cats it's only uh... they're only player linked okay hold on hold on let me go this way see if it comes yeah he, he could he have died he's behind you oh here he is here he is wait how come my orange cat's not they're all sitting next to each other talking come on <laughs> oh there he goes there he goes okay yeah so i have my orange cat and my black cat i'm ready to go all right so we're going ready towards to the go. village all right why are my so cats not coming now so you're not a fan of modern art that's what you're saying i i, I mean i am a fan of modern art but i don't know what that was <laughs> <gasps> it was modern art. <laughs> I think your flag is fine because a flag need to be needs to be very simple and very yeah. basic. Yeah. I th with symbolism in it, and I like how you use my suggestion. By the way, all right, my cats are not coming, and I don't know why. They're all sitting here. Why? It, maybe if you want more fish. Oh, that's actually a good idea too. Let's bring the fish with them. Come on. Oh, they're like glitched on that block for some reason. I don't know why. No. Just they. <laughs> they're like all going to this one block, and I do not know why. All right, can I just take one cat back with me? 
Wait, what, what was your suggestion about the flags? You said I took your suggestion? Oh, you put the pathways with the trees. Oh, yeah. I think that was very well done. I don't... Yeah, I would say that your flag is a flag, but not art. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... Uh, right. I just... What is happening with your cats? <laughs> they're glitched on this block for some reason. They're, like, they're all, like, going to this block, and I don't know why. Oh, it's because they hate chickens, I think. Maybe they think they're ch chickens. Not There's no chickens in here, though. Let me shut the door. Well, if you want to well, we go without sleep. me, you can go. Yeah, we, we gotta sleep. All right, I'm not, I'm not leaving you and your cats. <laughs> Oh, there will be no Fredcraft with subs, but thanks for asking. Wait, why do the cats try to get on my bed with me? That's uh, the cats, strange. the cats are, uh, the cats will sleep on your bed with you. It's very cute. I think it's look at, look at, look at him, look at him, look at him. Get off the bed. Do you see him? Look at him, look at him. Yes, no, I see him. I think it's very strange. I don't want to sleep with my cats. <laughs> oh, look at him. Stop purring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my cat walked on your bed. Oh, my goodness. Get right, off I, the bed. I don't know where my guys went. Goodness me. They're, like, glitched on this, though. Come on. You need more fish? No, they're... Let me... Maybe oh, if I run... There's one. There's one. Okay. You got one. All right, here comes the white one. The so yellow one doesn't want to do? come. Oh, there's there's yellow one. All right, there we go. I'm missing one more. Okay, that's fine for now. I'll come back for the other guy. No, no, it's not. We can't leave any of the cats. Oh, <laughs> wait, no, those are mine. We can't leave any of the cats. Can't you just fix it? Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, try harder. <laughs> let me put this guy here, and let me put this guy here. Zach isn't a cat person, confirmed. <laughs> Okay, so back to the flag controversy. Okay, so everybody's up in arms about these flags. And so people have been like make, now making their own flags for their own worlds and posting it in Discord. And I gotta say, there are some amazing flags. I don't know if you've seen any of them that are up there, but I, there's one in particular I have to point out, which is Zappy Zebra's flag, is like the coolest flag I have ever seen of any country ever. It is hands down the 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 coolest flag. I you should check it out at some point. I have not seen his. I think I saw Brady's, but I didn't see his. It probably is good. Zappy Zebra makes some very quality uh things. Yeah, I should I should take some 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 uh, suggestions from Zappy Zebra. <laughs> <laughs> this oh my goodness, why is he We could be here for hours, Zach. <laughs> I don't know why this one isn't wanting in the come. It's it's not teleporting or anything? No, I keep trying to update the blocks to tell them that that's not a location we're going to. Do we have a lead around here? I don't even know where the cat's at, actually, now. Wait, what? He just, like, disappeared. Oh, he's sitting on the bed. Come on, brother. Let's go. No! Yeah, there, there's probably a lead in the chest. Come on. I think they're trying to sit on the bed. I think that was the problem. Oh, really? Yeah, here he comes now. Gosh, these cats in these beds. Cats like to sleep. <laughs> Apparently. All right, yeah, I got him coming with. Okay, let's continue going. Claude lost the cat. No, I got him with me. Oh, I might be able to get a dog too. I have some. I found some bones in that chest. Dogs are a lot easier to tame and a lot easier to follow because they're not. What? Stupid. We got a dog? <clears throat> yeah, we got a dog. I'm gonna try. To, if we find another dog, I'll let you tame him. We're gonna be going. We got cats and dogs. <laughs> this this thought this stream is getting out of control. I just out of control. 
Yeah, I hope we have enough money to pay for them all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got when we go across water, you gotta be very careful that they uh they swim or they um teleport. Yeah, I'm not going across the water. <laughs> Alright, I already lost the cat. What? Blood! God, I hate these things so much, man. What well, I don't understand how I'm doing so much better at this than you. <laughs> They're getting glitched on something. I don't know what. You have your bed with you as well, right? Yeah. And there's a wait, is this a new cat? Or is this your cat? No, that's my cat. Yeah, we're. I lost the cat. I don't know where he went. We'll come back and get him what? later. We got to get these guys over there. I'll come get him later. All right, if you see a dog, I got f nine bones for you. We have a bunch of yellow cats, so we can just make another one. Just make sure you don't lose your black cat, because we, we only have one of those. The black and white one. I'll come back and get the other guy, because I have no idea where he's at. All right. So we need to go um, 1,300 more blocks this way. No, 1,500 more blocks this way. So let's be careful. Uh, there should be uh, dogs that'll spawn in this biome here, this spruce biome. If it's still called... It's called a taiga biome now. Ugh. <coughs> they should spawn... <coughs> They should spawn in here. So if we find another dog, let me know and I'll give you some bones. Okay. Claude, why Claude, when are you going to play Bedrock on Bedrock? Sir? I have no current plans for that. We play Fortnite with subs every Tuesday, though. Holy cow, do you see all these pumpkins? Yeah, that's oh my money. Goodness. Yeah. No, let's oh, get all of these. Here, okay, we the can... cat came to me now. <laughs> this is like we This can, is gold. We can... Yeah, no, this is emeralds. This is emeralds. <laughs> all of these pumpkins here. Wait, what tool am I supposed to use to pick uh, these up? an axe. Axe. All right. Here you go. Don't lose our our emeralds. <laughs> Yeah, see, sometimes these cats are, like, weird. Sometimes they'll teleport and they won't. They should come. Yeah, see? All right, we're getting closer, Zach. Closer <laughs> every second. And we found the cat. I mean, ah, oh, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. I don't like Fortnite, and even if I wanted to, you start streaming when I am already sleeping. Oof. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Got some critics in chat today. Yeah. Um, I don't I have can, any. Can I say? Yeah. Can I? Can I say something positive about your streams for one second? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. You're Zach. like, please, please do. Um, something really positive that I just love. I love that you're using the new Premiere feature for your streams. Or the new, the scheduling. Yeah, the there's scheduling some bugs feature. that I still have with it. Like forgetting to change the title of the game. Lucas pointed that out to me earlier. Um, I, I'll still say like Planet Coaster or whatever. I was playing last. Oh yeah, you have to change the video game name. I, but I, I love it. I love it so much. It's like you post it. So like it, at, for me, cause like my schedule is so crazy. Like I never, before I would always miss when you were streaming, but now it gives me a little bit of a heads up when you're going to do your stuff. And so I can, yeah, I just, I love it. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, I really try to, um, I really try to, uh, premiere them 24 hours to at least an hour before the stream starts. Cause Sometimes uh, I, I'll post it in my Discord at hash times um, when I'm playing and I pin it every week. Uh, but sometimes, obviously, like you and other people don't have Discord. I mean, you have Discord, but I mean, some people don't have Discord. Uh, so I try to at least premiere them between 24 hours to an hour before it starts. So at least somebody has some sort of heads up. 
Um, yeah. I'm not going to say that I'm going to do it, like, right after the stream, because sometimes I got to, like, leave and go do something, and then I'll forget. <laughs> but yeah. I will try to do them as, as soon as I know, because I don't... Sometimes it'll be like, oh, I might have to work on homework later, and I have to push it back. But, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to do that so people are a little bit uh, notified, so then you can... Uh, wait up because i know especially with your streams you have like 17 people waiting like every time you play <laughs> well that's a little, a little bit exaggerated bit exagger a little bit of an exaggeration <laughs> but it's um, always like I, so aj I, and like dr brown and uh jeffrey always like yeah and, I, and crazy decks and good gaming and brady <laughs> yeah i'm trying i'm trying to do the the opposite as well so like i so i've always done the premiere feature and like schedule it in advance but now I'm trying to put more description in Discord um, a little bit more ahead of time of what what's actually going to be happening in the stream. So I'm trying to do both, um, both in Discord and the YouTube schedule, just to, just to like give people a heads up of what's what's coming. Yeah, I think that's very good because that's what I've been doing. I do I try to post the schedule at least a like the entire week generally. Um what we're going to be doing because i always put in quotations and italicized um streams may change because of work or uh school uh but just giving that heads up for a week you can kind of see you know oh i only like planet coast or i'm going to come out and watch planet coast or i'm only going to watch Fortnite with zach i'm going to come out to this which we try to keep them on a consistent days by the way all like, yeah. all of our streams just different because like, obviously zach does his own thing i do my own thing but we try to keep them all the same day, try the same times. Um, I do my streams a little bit earlier because I got to get up early. Um, I know you have to get up early too, but... Um, yeah. Well, I, we're in different time zones. Yeah. Too. So it's... Uh, sometimes it's a little bit different. Um, so we just got to make sure that... Or what I try to do is just try to give everyone a heads up. I could try to plan like some like special events. I usually like will say it's in a couple of weeks or whatever, but I try to at least give a week schedule out. I, I usually do it Sunday night at like midnight because <laughs> I yeah. sitting there doing other stuff, editing for the, the video on Monday until then. And that's really when the video is when the schedule gets posted is usually when the video is done edited. And if I cannot get it edited, I won't put it on there. So if anybody was curious, Claude is not real person. He's just Zach's second personality, Simon says. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would just recommend, Zach, yeah, like what you're trying to do is like make a Discord channel that specifically uh, times and only admins can uh, change, which would be only you of yeah, um, I don't. I don't got any. I don't got any admins on Discord. I, I don't. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yeah, just so, so just so they uh, can. That's just like just a chat, so it's just your chat. Yeah. Okay. So you would just change your. You would make a new text channel, and then you would add to that channel and say administrator and then give your you would be the only person with that role which by the way zach uh i cannot change it on your discord and i do not know how i wanted to change it sorry without letting you know what? but it says you're you're like the second person on the list even though it's your own discord server i don't know if yeah. you noticed that that's very strange who's the first me. person on the list it's usually good gaming or king of strange or above you yeah and that you would just change with you would make a new role saying uh, you would make a new role saying admin give yourself all the rights and then display separately and then put that on top of uh, whatever is there so that only well, you have it. I, I don't mind that good gaming and King of Strange is above my name. They're awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm just saying just so people like that are new like know like who runs it. I think they I think they both do stuff on there anyways. So, that's good. Um, if I go in voice chat, I'm going to be happy today. Oh, yeah. I usually talk to... What I do on my Discord server, Zach, is like every Saturday after the stream, I'll talk in VC with uh, everyone that wants oh, to talk. Oh, nice. Just so, like... I mean, that's like another kind of interaction because I know it's... I don't stream it. I don't record it. Yeah, every Saturday? Every Saturday, 
I just, I didn't even I did not even know this was happening. Wait, what is this? Yeah, so every Saturday in my voice so in my Discord at the bottom there's voice channels and we usually go in there and we usually just talk to everyone and then they tell us feedback about the stream or yeah. tell us hey, Simon's always me and him are always talking about history, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um and that's what we just do. We do that for about like 20 minutes to an hour and then I I'll get off. Or sometimes to go longer. Or I'll privately stream some games. Like, for example, um, <clears throat> Simon will want me to play, like, Soviet Republic. Or Duma wanted me to play um, C S C P or whatever it's called. So I'll, I have those I, games, and I'll privately stream them just to them. But you're, you're literally blowing my mind right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do it. I had no idea any of this was going on. Wait, what? You've ne all, all the months we've streamed together, you have never once mentioned this. Have you? I don't. I might have said. I usually say I go to voice channel, but sometimes I don't. Okay. Sometimes you just talk. Okay. Sometimes we'll have Lucas look at my uh, Minecraft world, and he'll tell me what to fix because Lucas knows what he's okay, doing. Okay, wait, wait. So for people who have hung on to the end of the stream here, <laughs> let me see if I understand what, what, what you're saying. So you're saying there's a super secret... Claude stream that happens once a week that doesn't go online. It's just a live thing that you do over Discord. Yeah, it's more of like uh, showing, uh, like we'll we'll like I think last week we were talking about the good, the bad, the ugly, and I was showing them clips from the film and stuff like that, uh, and like you normally on YouTube or Twitch. Yeah, and like Holy some cow. because there's not a huge following for like Soviet Republic. There's not a huge following for. Uh, scp so sometimes i'll play with duma on there and sometimes i'll play with simon and uh they'll tell me what to fix what they like what they hate and oh my it's a lot goodness. it's very quick feedback <laughs> yeah <laughs> and of course there's a text channel as well so if you don't want to talk there's uh you can always just type we always do that too because some people don't have mics and they don't want to talk and that's totally fine all right, so what day do this? We do this every Saturday, like, right after. When I say, see you, Zach, I'll, I'll go straight to the uh, voice channel, usually, after I get a water or go to the bathroom. Y you mean today? Yeah, so, like, right after, like, in two minutes from now, when we wrap up. I'll, You're going to voice chat? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll do, like, well, an exclusive whatever we Simon wants me to play today. Oh my goodness! <laughs> well, Lucas. maybe I'll maybe I'll check it out today. I don't know how to do that, but maybe I'll sp I'll click around on Discord or something. And maybe I'll accidentally show up there. Yeah, there'll yeah. If you're down, you just jump on in. If not, don't even. You can always just keep your microphone muted, and you could type in uh, the channel because I know you're a very busy person. <laughs> you can always type. You do not need to talk. Yeah. Uh, but we made it back home. C c you might want to right-click on your cat so they don't walk away. Uh, I put. Well, will the zomb will the zombies eat them out here? No, nothing will attack these animals at all. Strangely enough, no one will actually. These cats can sit outside forever. The dogs will scare away skeletons and kill them. Uh, cats will scare away creepers, uh, but I don't think they uh, actively go for them. Yeah. Um. Dogs will also attack sheep only if you punch them. Uh, dogs will also attack players if you punch them. So, for example, if I stood my dog up right now and I hit you, my dog would not stop. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, so, let's try that. Let's try it. I, I no, we're not gonna try that. <laughs> Why not? I'll just I'll reset myself right here. Respawn point. Seven. Are you okay. sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you sure? I'm sure. Get him! Get him, boy! Get him! Get him! Oh, that's he's kind of a lame dog. Ow! 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 <laughs> shoot! Ow! Shoot! <gasps> sit! Ow. Sit! He, stop! He, stop! He, stop! He's not. He's not very strong. He's not very strong. Yeah, you <laughs> have some good armor on. Sometimes. Wait. So if I. Ow! 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 Shoot! I don't know he'll how. Just, he'll just keep. He'll just keep going after me. Yeah, he'll just keep going after you. It's, oh, and if you hit me too, he'll uh, go after you as well. So you got to be very careful with dogs. So we may park him a little bit away just so we don't accidentally he do something. Attack yeah, <laughs> because you'll be sitting there for one second, and two seconds later he'll be like, no, don't touch my owner. Uh, something quickly uh, that we could do real quick. Oh, God, how did he stand ah, up? How did ah, he stand up? Yeah, ah. oh, oh, sit down, sit down, sit down. 
So dogs will eat any sort of meat. Uh, the best meat you should feed your dog is rotten flesh. Obviously, we don't have, have a dog yet, so it doesn't matter. You look at all the animals by looking at their tail. If they're damaged, their tail will go down. Um, so they'll be, like, sad. Oh, my goodness, you fed him, and he hated you! <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, you just said feed him rotten meat. <laughs> I, he he liked that, but then he also didn't like you. I don't know why. <laughs> but what we can do real quick is we can have a little baby cat. Where is our black and white cat? Or our polka here. dotted one. He's right, right here. Come here. So give. So stand your cat up. So just right click on him and make him stand up. And then I'm gonna feed my white cat. And then let's see if they'll give us. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's a little baby cat. It's... <gasps> Look at him. That's incredible. So I guess the white cat's the mama here. <laughs> and the black and white one is the dad. Oh my god. That's goodness. incredible. Oh. So now we got a little oh. cat. Hey! Hey! <laughs> How do you get him to follow us? He'll, uh, I think he might, I don't know who he's, he's attached to. All right, right click on him. Back here. Oh. He didn't do anything. Him. He just ate my fish. Yeah, if you force feed these cats, they'll grow up to be older. Like, quicker. I didn't know that was a thing, but. Right. I have no more fish left. Yeah, that's fine. That's it. But now we got a little kitten. Look at him. Jeffrey said not clickbait stream today. And that's a fact. <laughs> Yeah. Gosh, this was amazing, Claude. I, like, what a great stream. I, look at all the cats we have. Yeah, we got we have six cats and one dog. We weren't even going for a dog, but now we have one. We got to get you a dog, too. Yeah. But I think we have enough cats, honestly. If you want to on Wednesday, we could probably start working on construction of a creeper farm, or we could do something else. Yes, please. No, let's do the creeper farm. I'm so excited about it. Okay. We might want to design okay it something like, yeah, we might want to design it. Maybe we could design it like a rocket ship, like going up. So it, like, because it's going to yeah. be a very nasty looking building. Yeah. Um, And maybe we can make it look like a rocket ship because I know you want to do the runway one, but maybe we could do something. Yeah, like yeah. Tomorrow when we do it, we're going to do the core mechanics first and then we'll design something around it. So yeah. you don't have to be pressed for time. But we'll do that next time. Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Zach, so much for coming on this beautiful cat adventure today. I thought it turned out quite fantastic. I'm going to take a quick nap. Uh, and oh, thank you, Zach. <laughs> All right. Um, everybody remember we have our special videos premiering tonight. Both Claude and I, special event saturday night saying goodbye to the arc series so everybody remember that yes i will have to do some editing so i might do that on the uh hidden stream <laughs> for a little <laughs> sneak peek i don't know but thank you guys so much for watching zach and everyone and i'm gonna go talk to my chat real quick yeah make sure you watch the video tonight <laughs> <laughs> all right see ya see ya uh thank you jeffrey for coming out to the stream man uh not a huge not a huge following for Soviet Republic. Hmm, I think there's quite a lot of people wanting to see Soviet Republic. <laughs> Maybe comrades? I don't know. I don't have... As of current time today, I, uh... I, as of current, we don't have any plans to play Soviet Republic. I re-downloaded it, though. Um, I will be in voice chat in about a couple minutes from now. I need to talk to Zach, and I need to pee, so I gotta do that. Uh, so I'll see you guys there. Uh, don't forget tonight there will be two videos premiering, mine and Zach's. Mine will be first at 8 o'clock, and Zach's will be at 8.15. So make sure you watch both of them. I will be there. I will be watching. Attendance is mandatory. Just kidding. If you live in Europe, attendance is not mandatory. Just watch them at some time. Uh, there will be coin giveaways, uh, and I'll explain those rules for people that are still curious. They're pinned in or they're in hashtag times if you want to see a, a written copy. So thank you so much, Lucas, for all your help. I know I didn't get to see all your comments. Simon and AJ, I know I didn't see all your comments today. I was reading them, but we were so focused on, like, like everything else. Um, Jeffrey, thanks for stopping in and everyone else as well. I will see you, Fredlings, on...